Hey guys, welcome back. So today in our video, we are going to be unboxing the Ipsy Glam Bag for September 2020. Now this is a $12 a month subscription with free shipping. You will receive five beauty items inside and they will be sample sized items. And there will be one glorious, glamorous bag in there, of course. So Ipsy will always do a unique take on a travel glam bag. And this month on Instagram, you guys voted on which ones were your favorites. And overall, Overall, everybody really enjoyed the trio this month from Ipsy. So let's go ahead and take a look at this today. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe down below. I do all things unboxings of subscription boxes and more. So let's see what we have this month inside of our glam bag. So here is the bag this month. One thing that I really do like about this is the texture is just so soft. It's this gorgeous fabric. It's that rib texture that we have on here as well. On the back side, we have this gorgeous cranberry. So I think for fall, I totally get where they were going with this and it's really, really pretty. I The only concern I would have with this is if you were to spill any sort of liquids, I do think it would damage the bag. Um, I mean, maybe water would be fine, but like, especially if you have any makeup or cosmetics in here that would break open, that would be a concern of mine. But I think this bag is super cute. I really like it a lot this month and it's really pretty. Oh my gosh, inside I actually have all the info about the products. Sometimes they'll send that, sometimes they won't, but I really like it when they do. It's just much easier. Okay. The first item I have here is from the Professional. This is a hydrating primer. Excuse me, this is from Benefit Cosmetics. I even knew that. So this is a very small sample, if you guys can see in there. This packaging is bigger than the sample. This would be $32, though, if you were to purchase the full-size version. This is 3.0 mil, and the full-size version would be 22 mil. So this is a very teeny, teeny sample. Um, this primer is great because it is oil free. It will keep your makeup looking great for long lasting days. It creates a barrier between your skin and your foundation to prevent oils from showing up. And it will also hydrate your skin up to 12 hours. There's hyaluronic acid in this. I didn't realize that. And also shea butter, it said. I'm very familiar with this product. I've tried it before. Um, it's not my personal favorite primer to use and I love primers, but this is not my go-to. But I did not realize there was hyaluronic acid in this and shea butter. So that's awesome. That's a really nice perk. Okay. The next item that I have in here is from Real Her. This is Confidence in My Glow and it is a highlighter. So this looks like it's a single pan highlighter. I love the packaging on this company. It's like this marbled look and it is so pretty. I also love with everything that Real Her puts out, it's like, I'm inspiring, I'm amazing, confidence. It's just, I love the names that they come up with for their products. It's really, really cool. Okay, so let's look at this highlighter here. There is a mirror inside. So this is really pretty. I love this shade. It's enough of a glow, but it's nothing like crazy. It's not blinding. It's got like a warmness to it, if you know what I'm saying. So this full-size version would cost you $28. However, this is the deluxe sample. And it says a few sweeps of this highlighter will make you glow like the goddess that you are. It's finely milled and the light reflecting pigments will be soft on your skin and it will give you a subtle sheen that looks natural. Plus it's cruelty free as well. It's also made without gluten or talc or parabens. Awesome, a bunch of stuff that you don't necessarily want in your makeup or cosmetics. So the next item that I received is from PYT Beauty. This is an eyeshadow and it says it's day to night and it's for cool shades or for cool tones. It's cool shades for cool tone people, which is me. And if you're not familiar, cool tones are going to be like your blues. They're going to be those lighter colors versus your warm colors are going to be more of your oranges, reds, things like that. But blues, violets, anything like that, greens. Oh, this is actually four shades in here. Wow. Okay. So no mirror in this compact. But here are our neutral eyeshadows. These are in the shades Coffee Run, Day Trip, and then there's Happy Hour and 202 AM. So that's kind of cute. I like the color story here that you've got your now and later. 
so that you can make it a little darker for the night. Um, these are really basic neutral tones though, so I kind of think it's funny that they're labeling this as cool shadows when this is neutral. This is right in between and neutrals work usually for anybody. Weird. Okay. So this palette though says that it would be $32 if you were to purchase the full size. However, this is not. This is a set of four cool tone shadows that will take you from day to night. They are enriched with vitamin E as well so that they'll nourish. They're also vegan and cruelty free. I do like that, that they are vegan and cruelty free. I really do appreciate that with products that go that extra mile to do that. So that is great. But I, I don't know. I just like, I wouldn't label that as cool tone. Um, the next thing that I have is from Evio Skin. This is 15 mil and it's a rejuvenating mask. There is cannabis seed oil in here as well. So this product then would be $22 for the full size version. 15 minutes with this mask is all you will need. It will nourish, hydrate, and rejuvenate your skin. It uses hemp seed oil, which is a natural source of fatty acids and antioxidants. It will heal damaged skin. Okay, so I feel like this is the latest trend is to add hemp oil into things. And sometimes with trends, it can be overdone. So I don't know yet if this is going to be good or not. We will find out. But that's always my fear when I see a fad that it's like, okay, is it is it really going to be great? Or are you just throwing it in there just to throw it in there? I don't know. We'll see. All right. The next item that I have in here actually didn't fit inside my cosmetic bag. So they set it in there separately. And this is a blush and bronzer duo that is from Pacifica. So this is their desert sunset. It is cruelty free and vegan as well. I really like the packaging on this. This is so cute with all of these like triangles that they have going on. So pretty. I also am surprised at how large this is. Like this is a really large item to put in here as a sample size. I would expect this in like the Glam Bag Plus where you're spending like double for it. But let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, this packaging is adorable. So on the front here, we have our blush and our bronzer and it's in this acrylic case here. I'll open that in just a minute. On the back is the mirror. So I don't wanna blind you guys by looking at yourselves, but I think that is awesome that you've got this travel case to take with you and literally you've got your mirror right here on the back. How cool is that? Okay, so let's go ahead and look at these two a little more in detail. Still loving these triangles that are on here. They're pressed into the pans themselves, which is gorgeous. So this is the Sunset Matte Blush and Bronze. This is a buildable, buildable duo that will cover with a matte finish. It will give you a glowy shine and it will also give you a rosy glow. Well, okay, I kind of think that's what you would want from a blush is a rosy glow, so that kind of seems obvious, but this is really, really pretty. I think this is gorgeous. I'm excited to use these. This blush is verging on a little more of a warm tone sensation. And so for me, it might come out a little too much, but I don't know, it might work actually. I could see this working. It's probably okay. So I really like this. I love how large this is too. It's a great piece to put in here. That is everything inside of my Ipsy Glam Bag for September 2020. Overall, I think this is a really good bag. I love the bag. I love the bronzer and blush. I do like that we can try the primer out. Um, even though it's not my favorite, it's nice to have that in there. And I like that there's a good mixture of products. We got a little bit of skincare, a little bit of makeup, so I do like that too. Overall, I think this is a really great bag. It's not my favorite, so we're gonna go with four stars because I do think they've had better in the past, but I do think this is still a really good bag to buy and it's worth your money. So let me know what you guys think down below. What did you get in your Ipsy bags? I love to hear the different options that are out there. And if you've tried these products, do you love them or do you hate them? I would love to know. All right, guys, I will chat with all of you in a future video. Have a safe, fantastic rest of the day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.